be fools to the world as long as you are a fool for Christ. It doesn't matter what the rest of the world says, what the rest of the world thinks. Because it is written that God made foolish the wisdom of this world. That's so awesome. Because I, I had my, my philosopher's stage. And I had my stage of doubt. And it was really until I was in, introduced, when I, well, I fell upon this here scripture, that all of a sudden my doubt went away. Because it just made too much sense. Written as plainly as it was. Because we in our rational minds try to understand God and God isn't for us to understand. For us to say God is a mystery to us. It is not for us to understand. God is not for us to understand. And once we stop trying to understand God and stop trying to understand the world and they say ignorance is bliss. This isn't being ignorant. This, this is be foolish to the world. You know, be blissfully foolish. And, and, and your relationship with God will, will, will increase. So, be stupid. <laughs> yeah. Look, you don't got to cover your mouth, be stupid. <laughs> Stop caring what the world thinks. Yeah. You know, today, I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't expecting it, but I still went last week, this whole week, I went and I, I said, hey, Welcome to come to church. I went to co-works. And they're like, yeah, I'm going to come. I want to hear you speak. I want to hear you speak. I'm not surprised that no one showed up. Mm -hmm. yeah. not, I'm not surprised. I'm not upset. Mm -hmm. you know, I invited friends. I'm not surprised my friends don't come to church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Last week, I was at, a, at, a, at one of my friend's video shoots, and everyone there was, 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 was getting high and, and drinking. And I'm the one guy there who's not partaking. And... I started walking up to people, and this is the first time I've ever done this. And I just started talking about Jesus. And people were running away from me. It was hilarious. Like, out of like 50 some odd people there for this video shoot, about three or four people were listening to me. That's fine, you know? And, and you know what? We were, we were in a circle, and we were in agreement. But you can't be afraid to look like a fool. I'm going to leave you on that. Don't be afraid to look like a fool. Yeah. Because you don't want God to be afraid when, uh, 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 of, of letting you in you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> at the end of the day. When, when we all leave, like I guarantee you that we're, we're, we're all going to only last one lifetime. Mm -hmm. When we get up there and we face the judgment and say, hey, you know what, I, 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 I don't even want to see you in here. <laughs> I get, I, 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 you kind of frightened me. Wow, <laughs> I'm gonna leave you with that. I keep saying that, but I'm still standing here. Come on, come on, come on. Just one more thought. Oh, right. did, 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 I, did I grow up in a Baptist church? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's been 20 years. Like, the, this, this thing is attached to my hand. Okay, let it go. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Alright. Amen. 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 Amen.